Pablo, kind of a follow-up question. You've mentioned a lot community building for business development. Can you elaborate more and what can entrepreneurs do in that sense? I'm glad you asked this question, Mayor. When I say community creation for business development, really what I mean is figuring out how to turn your, your customer base or, your, or the people that you are serving into an audience. And once you have an audience, you have to understand that you have a stage. And the stage is the most powerful tool for business development, for value creation to others that is absolutely scalable and, 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 and very easy to use in different ways. Mm -hmm. So when I first started, I started by joining this, my best friend sent me this email about Habitat for Humanity wanting to start a young professionals group in Miami, right? So I just volunteered for that. And we met in somebody's living room and three months later, a buddy of mine had written the bylaws and we had a board and we had all this stuff together and we started this young professionals group that at first I thought would help me directly in business development because I was doing this green building consulting thing and that wasn't really the case. But what it did do for me is it put me on the path of being a part of philanthropies and charities. It qualified me for this like leadership Miami program. Then it got me on the board of Habitat. Then it got me on the board of a couple of the charities and it, and then it, got me on the board of the Economic Development Agency of Miami or, or to be on the board of the Economic Development Agency of Miami. And at a certain point in my career, working for a big construction company where I was just pigeonholed as the green guy, the, the director of sustainability guy, I realized, you know, I have these four or five different groups that I steward. And they're all young professionals in Miami. And then there's this project happening in Miami with this developer that is developing something that I think is going to be good for the community and it's being misunderstood because it's adding density to a low density area. But since it was building on top of a Metro rail station, then it was incentivizing mass transportation, which Miami desperately needed. So I reached out to this guy and I said, I'm going to have this event where I'm going to put you on stage on, and I'm going to interview you about your project alongside and, and transit oriented development alongside a politician on the board of one of my charities and a land use attorney that I happen to have done a bunch of projects with. So a couple of, you know, maybe 15, 20 young professionals showed up to that event. We had a great event, but the value that came out of that was huge because I introduced this developer to a couple of strategic partners. I let him talk about his message and guess what? Next week, he was on the phone with me saying, hey, how can we come into your office and, and maybe build this project with you guys, right? This like hotly contested project that everybody was fighting for, right? So that was a big aha moment for me. And then the next level was, if I can manufacture a stage in person, how can you manufacture stages everywhere? And now with the internet, that exists. You have a stage, right? Like how many, how many relationships have you forged because you're reaching out to people to interview them about what they're good at, get them on your stage, talking about something where they feel like they're adding value to people, and therefore they, they, they thank you, and now you have this relationship. The people in your audience gain that value because they're doing that, right? So now what I do is I figure out, that the, you know, the other piece of it is that you can now use this stuff for marketing for yourself. You can now use this to create a book or you can use this to, you know, to tell a thousand different stories. You can take this stuff and make an email chain out of it. You can put this on your Instagram. You can put this on your Facebook. You can do all these different things. So at the end of the day, the key part of it is how do you get a captive audience? And then how do you take, I, I live very strictly by the rule that every man I meet is somehow my superior and in that I can learn from them. Right. So if you get really good at everybody that you come in contact with figuring out that one little piece that they are, they've just thought longer about practice longer, obsessed about, you know, uh, yes. done over and over again that you haven't. And you take that piece and you put it on your stage for a community to hear, then you are inherently just creating a win-win scenario for everybody. And that comes with it a bunch of externalities. So I started on a local level. If you're an entrepreneur that's dealing with local businesses, join a, join a, join a philanthropy, right? Like, like start, start getting behind a cause that you can be known for, that you can start inviting people to, that you can then become the head of a committee 
And therefore, you're going to have the ability to reach out to people and say, hey, I want you to come to this event because I want to introduce you to this wonderful cause. And then all of a sudden, you're on stage introducing people and, and that thing grows. If you, are, if you have a more of a scalable business and it's more online, you should think about how you can create a YouTube channel, an Instagram, a Facebook, or a Facebook group. Mm -hmm. And think about how instead of using that to highlight yourself and highlight your services, think of yourself as a stage and think of yourself as the place where people come to showcase their value and, and people come to hear about other people's values. And that is community creation for business development. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that, Paolo. And I always feel that follow your passion and also give back to the community. And that was the main reason why I started my YouTube channel, because when I came here to Canada, I was finding difficulty finding a job. A lot of people gave me some tips. And after a while, when I was at, at a place that I, I can, was able to give back. So that's why I started this YouTube channel. Now it's been growing and meeting people like you and building community is also one of the reasons I'm doing. Again, thank you for that. Uh, and for, again, for the audience listening or watching, if you have any other tips in terms of building community or helping how to develop business, please, again, leave it in the comment section, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Pablo.